Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, the wormery is looking a little different right now. If you watched the previous video, you will know that I have had to disassemble my 55 gallon bin because whatever's in my basement has started eating my worms. So I have started sifting what I can to reduce the overall volume and then putting them into lidded bins until I can catch or kill whatever it is that is trying to eat my baby worms. So, here we are with what is left. All of my grow up bins were pretty much down to almost no worms at all. And all of my other downstairs systems had pretty much been ravaged. So what we are down to is the DIY stacked bin. And then what remains of the 55 gallon bin is in this big bin and that big bin and then a little bit in these ones over here. So I think that whatever it is ate a good half of my worms. So whatever it is is fat and reproducing and sooner or later I will catch it. Or I'm gonna have to hire like a big nasty tomcat to come live in my basement. I'm not even kidding, I'm thinking about it. So today is going to be the update of feeding what's left of the worms. I know that's super depressing. Add that to the list of depressing things for 2020. But I'm gonna move you a little bit closer to the DIY bin and let's right. feed them up. So here's the DIY bin. We haven't looked at anything for quite some time because I was busy at work. So right now we're not gonna peek in on them too much. But I am going to, this is what I've sifted off of the bins that were um, disturbed. And so we're going to make a pile here. And then I'm going to give them a good amount of food and in hopes that they will reproduce and get my worm population up and going again. So first things first, we're going to start using up all of the work bin which is mostly coffee and fruit, but we're going to give them a good amount and put that over there, cover that up. I might have to move some over to another bin because the lid's not going to fit on that. And then we're going to give them another feeding on this side of the bin. which is, you know, apples, coffee, office paper, tea bags. And cover that back up with the existing castings. And then I'm going to do what I don't usually do, especially to this bin, is I'm going to put the lid on and put something heavy on top of it. Hopefully, whatever it is, isn't strong enough to pick that up. Okay, so let's take you over to the other bins that are in the basement still. So these are what's left over of the 55 gallon bin. So I've, I've run out of, basically have run out of totes to put things in. You can remember how much was in the 55 gallon bin. And I've got it spread across one, two, three, four, five bins and two buckets. So just going to keep on feeding them whatever was in the work bin and then covering them up. Looks like they got a good amount of fruit that time, not just all coffee. I want to caffeinate the worms and have them wanting to escape. So we're going to put that on there. I'll put a brick on that in a little bit. So 
so this one's going to get a little bit more because this had a lot more worms in it when I took it out of the 55 gallon bin. So I'm going to give that some more food than the other ones. And again, I'm just going to spread that out and put the lid on. Got some good bananas. Looks like quite a few bananas. But definitely a lot of coffee. Some apple rinds. And then this one is going to get its lid. That gets the big chunk of wood. And I'll bring you back for the lower bins. All right, let's look at the lower bins. Okay, this is the problem with putting lids on them. I'm not really, I'll have to come down here with a drill and fix this lid to be worm, not worm proof, but if it stays dry on the lids, they'll stay in, they won't crawl like this. As you can imagine, that's a lot of blue worms. They tend to like to crawl anyway but they don't crawl when there's something dry. And with the lid on, of course, it keeps the inside pretty moist. All right, so let's get them something to eat. Again, this is just the work the work bag, which is half coffee, half fruit. So they should have a good amount of stuff to keep them going. Might even get a worm ball next time. Okay, I'm going to kind of leave that lid off for a little bit so they calm down. And then I'm going to come over here to this blue one. have that, more fruit, more coffee, and kind of stick that down as far as I can. And then the worms will have a good amount to eat. This over here is the bin that I'm actually sifting. It's the driest out of all of them. I took all the dry parts and put it in here so I could sift. Maybe I will have enough to put in the other bins, or maybe it'll still have to be its own bin. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to feed that right now. I'm going to wait for a little bit. But uh, that is for the downstairs systems right now. That's all that's left. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.